All right, Albert. Well, we've dodged some rain, but yeah. now it's looking like a nice Saturday. Most of Saturday, if you have plans outdoors, looking good. We're going to be in the 80s, and good. then we get into the evening hours. A cold front comes in, and that's going to be the focus for some scattered showers and storms, some of which could be on the strong side. So that tops are what we're tracking for tonight. Between about 6 o'clock and 11 p.m. tomorrow, that front slides through the area. Scattered showers and storms in the forecast. That front, though, it's going to pull in some cooler air, so a cool late breeze in the forecast for your Sunday. Upper 50s in the loop on Sunday, and then 60s inland and then as we head towards next week a weather alert posted for Tuesday strong system comes in early indications that we could have some severe weather as we head towards Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday evening, large hail, damaging winds, even tornadoes, something we're going to be monitoring. All right, Cicada Watch, these temperatures have jumped up in a big way. We're going eight inches down. That's where the soil temperature needs to be 64 for the cicadas to start to emerge. And we're just two degrees shy now. And St. Charles still sitting at 60 degrees for the soil temperature in Chicago. So we think the week of the 13th, it's going to get busy around here with all the cicadas. Temperatures right now, upper 50s here in Chicago, a bit cooler, upper 40s and low 50s in northwest Indiana, still hanging on to 60 degrees at McHenry. Tomorrow Tomorrow morning, low to mid 50s, a mostly clear sky as we head into the afternoon, a little bit more of a partly cloudy sky. It's a nice day, though. Look at all the 80s popping up west and southwest suburbs, a little cooler near the lakeshore. And as we head towards the four o'clock hour, that cold front still way out here towards the west. By six o'clock, we start to monitor some thunderstorms getting closer to LaSalle and to Cobb County and isolated severe storms like that one and that one could produce some gusty winds and even some small hail. What we think is going to happen as the evening goes on, Thunderstorms become a little bit more widespread, but they may not pack as much of a punch. So some heavy downpours, cloud of ground lightning, some gusty winds, but below severe weather limits, we believe, once they get into Chicago by 9 o'clock. There's a cold front at 9 o'clock and still lingering showers and storms at 11 p.m. tomorrow evening. And a lot of that ring pulls out as we head into the pre-dawn hours of your Sunday. So the severe weather risk for tomorrow evening, small. It's a level 1 out of 5 on that severe weather scale to account for some isolated thunderstorms producing gusty winds and some small hail and I think the best chance of those severe storms going to be out here towards the west of Cal South County in particular behind that front. Look at the cool down on Sunday 65 degrees for the high in Chicago makes it to 70 low Morris and Aurora, but how about only 58 degrees in the loop with a cool wind off of Lake Michigan on Sunday, mainly dry on Monday and then Tuesday weather alert posted as we head towards the afternoon evening time chance of thunderstorms that could turn severe scattered storms linger into Wednesday and a few showers passing on by. Thursday and Friday of next week. Another active weather pattern yes. as we head into next week. All right. Thank you, Albert. Okay.